Welcome to Chris's Storytelling Corner. This is Christopher Moldong of Chris's Storytelling Corner. Today I'm going to do a movie review for the Chinese movie Chasing the Dragon. Next time, I'll have a movie review for the documentary Mully, a manga review for Skip Beat Volumes 1 and 2, and a list of the top magic users in anime and manga. You can check out my author's website at www.chrismodong.com. You can buy my first novel, a fantasy adventure called The Much of Prince in the Condiment Kingdom for $4.99. Also, for $2.99, you can buy my short story collection, a collection of 10 short stories, and the horror, fantasy, and realistic fiction genres. Check out my Twitter page and author's Facebook page. Links to all these will be provided on the description. I'd also really like to hear from you guys, so leave any comments um, about this movie, uh, about like the review, or if there are any uh, recommendations for movies that you'd like me to see and or review. Also, make sure to subscribe and share this channel as well. So I'm going to give a pretty brief recap of the movie, not a total detailed recap, um, and then afterwards I'll give my thoughts on the movie. So uh, Donnie Yen is Crippled Ho, and he's based on a real life gangster. Uh, the film is about an illegal immigrant from mainland China who sneaks into corrupt uh, British colonized Hong Kong in 1963 and transforms himself into ruthless and emerging drug lord. So um, Andy Lau plays uh, the cop uh, Rock Lee and so the pair Crippled Ho and Rock Lee become partners and eventually blood, uh, blood brothers with Ho serving as uh, as the brawn for uh, Rock, who's pretty much like the brains, and and the police, uh, Crippled Ho is selling drugs. <laughs> the turning point of the movie comes when uh, Ho saves Rock in a deadly ambush, and pretty much the ghetto. Uh, while Rock survives more or less intact, uh, Ho has his life shattered by the rival gangster masterminding the attack. Uh, the injury. Which kind of explains Ho's limping nickname, Limping Ho, Crippled Ho. Um, so this injury drives a wedge between the pair. And then Ho then more aggressively expands his drug trafficking realm and becomes um, kind of bitter towards Rock. They still have a tense friendship and brotherhood, um, but it, it's just way more tense. Um, and then Rock asks him to make up with the very thug, Chubby, um, yeah, it's Chubby, uh, who broke his, his leg in order to stop gang wars from getting out of hand. Uh, Crippled Ho is also sent to Thailand. Uh, one of his boys actually dies there, but he manages to escape. And the ending of the film pretty much has him fighting against uh, one of these British officers who acts like he's invincible and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the recap um, th there's obviously more to it but you know watch the movie <laughs> you know so some general thoughts uh, as far as a letter grade goes um, there are problems with the movie as far as pacing it's real it's a bit frenetic at times um, you know, it really jumps around from different scenes, but it is really, like, it's shot well. Um, you don't really get to know all the characters. But I don't think it was a bad movie. It was just, I thought it was good, but with flaws. So I give it something like a B- minus or something like that. Uh, when you get to the characters, the main characters, Andy Lau plays uh, Rock Lee. Not to be mistaken from the guy in Naruto, or Lee Rock. And Donnie Yen is crippled ho. So with uh, Lee Rock, um, you know he's really, 
he's kind of interesting just because it's like he he works in the police but he's also like pretty much in charge of the drug cartel in the movie and but you don't really see much in terms of conflict with that you know he he's pretty much very accepting of this role and wants me this role he him and his buddy uh piggy if i'm not mistaken his name is um yeah we're looking at the town and it's like i'm gonna become super rich so you know there, there's not really much conflict as far as him like internal conflict as far as him being law enforcement and then pretty much in charge of the drug cartel he's actually more than willing to kind of take certain shortcuts to get to where he uh, needs to be he, he marries uh what is it like the police chief's daughter or like i forgot if it's a police chief or um it's just someone some like big wig's daughter um he befriends uh some other police uh pe like police people as well um but he's definitely one of the more sensible guys uh whereas donnie yen is definitely the more emotional guy <laughs> andy lao is or um rockley is just more of the pragmatist realist and, and whatnot um crippled ho he's cool because he's recognized as a really good fighter and you know it's donnie yen so he had to have some really cool action scenes uh i mean there there were some weird um uh suspension of disbelief here you know like during around the middle near the end of the movie he's well during the middle of the movie he becomes crippled and at the very end he's having he's a part of a uh like this big fight to uh, pretty much kill this one uh, British officer and like there's a scene where he's like he somehow manages to jump onto like this higher ground um it's like a balcony uh and, and it's like how did he get there when you're you only have one leg and walk on a limp for example but otherwise the fight scenes with him are cool um some tragedy happens with him his wife actually dies in the middle of the movie and um he's he's got this weird like heart of gold because he doesn't want his brother he deals drugs and there's a little like weird conflict with him but it's like yeah, he deals drugs, but he doesn't want people around him doing drugs. Uh, unfortunately, his brother actually does do drugs. It actually leads him to eventually be killed, uh, taken to the hospital. I think he dies, actually. Um, but um, by the end, you, you can tell he just be, he really does show more of the character growth. He does become more embittered with uh, Rock Lee. He really doesn't like the British kind of walking all over China, the Chinese, which is um, a not so subtle thing that was going on back then, uh, back then. And that was quite pronounced in this movie that like, you know, as high up as Andy Lau is and whatnot, there's always someone higher and it is the foreigner, you know, Donnie Yen or excuse me, Crippled Ho, takes exception to that. And um, by the end, you know, he, he does manage to kill this one British officer. I think his name's, I think it's Hunt. Um, that has pretty much been kind of terrorizing him. Uh, or that has kind of terrorized him early on. Uh, the film's title, actually, The Chasing the Dragon, is actually Cantonese slang for the pursuit of heroin-driven highs. Um, you see that with, obviously, Crippled Ho's brother. Um, but, yeah, he, he just 
really wanted to get high. You know, he, he's just a, a, addicted to it and whatnot. And, um... In a sense, you can kind of see this with Rock Lee and Crippled Ho in a sense, that even though they're not heroin-driven highs, um, they they are in the pursuit of this like really high goal in itself. Uh, there are other characters here like Piggy, who was pretty much Andy La or Rock Lee's right-hand man. He was cool. He dies at the end, unfortunately. He was always... I mean, he was like the guy that will die for Rock Lee, you know? Uh, there's a lot of like gangsters, uh, Chubby being one of them. Um, that was always a thorn in the side of Crippled Ho. Uh, we find a twist uh, around the middle of the movie with this woman named Rose, who... I was working for Andy Lau, who actually, it turns out, was working for Crippled Ho the whole time and was something of a mole against his brother, like, quote-unquote, brother, Andy Lau. Uh, Rose was actually this one young girl that Crippled Ho saved. She ends up dying in, near the end in a pretty tragic scene, actually. She's a character I actually liked quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, she was pretty loyal to Crippled Ho at the end. And it goes to show that Crippled Ho, despite him being, like, this big-time drug kingpin, was a man, like, he, he kind of wore his emotions in his sleeve and kind of did have a heart of gold. He wanted, you know, he helped Rose when she was young, and she just kind of owed him, you know, um... You know, by the end, she even, like, more or less died for him. Uh, but then there was, uh, you know, the British occupancy w was a big deal here. They had uh, the ACIC, um, which was pretty much cracking down on corruption near the end. Uh, that kind of spurned the end of the movie as well, where it's like, hey, I... Rock Lee is going to get investigated. He needs to get out and go. He actually goes to Canada by the end. Crippled Ho goes to prison. But he actually gets out, I believe, in like 1990. Um, he actually gets out of prison. Um, there are a lot of like smaller characters too. There, there's uh, a couple guys that were with uh, Crippled Ho that were pretty much just like brothers to him. Uh, they, who ended up dying, <laughs> and, but, you know, like I said, they, like, a lot of these side characters didn't get a lot of screen time outside of being the sidekick, uh, the British guy was the evil British guy, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, there, there were a lot of characters, but there are only, like, very few important characters, Rock Lee and Crippled Ho being, like, obviously the two most important. Um, action wise, this movie was good. Uh, I thought it was filmed really well. Uh, the set, you know, the setting was really cool. It was like 1970s and whatnot, late 60s, early 70s. Um, I thought the over st overall story was good. I just thought that the pacing made it so it was a, just a little too jumpy. It jumped from one scene to the next and, and it didn't really get a chance to breathe. It wasn't as chaotic as, say, like, King Arthur was or anything like that, but, like, I, I kind of felt that, like, there was some, like, very sudden cuts to the next scene, which I wasn't really fond of, um, personally, but, um, like I said, action's good, story's not too bad, um, you know, it, they lived at the end, <laughs> which is actually a bit surprising, I was, Expecting one of the two to die, and uh, that actually did not happen. So, uh, that's actually all for today. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel. Uh, thank you for listening to this movie review. Next time, I will have a movie review for the documentary Mully, a list for the top magic users in anime and manga, and have a manga review for Skip Beat Volumes 1 and 2. Thank you. And until next time.